So I'm in my little vegetable garden. We've got very limited space, but we have filled all the containers and pots we can lay our hands on with some different vegetables, which I'm gonna harvest. And I thought I would take you along with me on this video. So first up is my rocket, which I'll probably harvest this weekend. I'm gonna leave it for now. Um, this little kind of raised bed that I've made out of my old motorbike tires actually, um, has biochar in it. I poured the dregs of one of my previous trials into here. You can still see little chunks of it as well. Um, I have to say everything's looking pretty healthy, uh, including the spring onions, which are well overdue. Um, these are probably past it, but I might leave them to flower. They've got some beautiful heads on the top of them which we'll um, see what they look like perhaps in a couple of weeks. Now this is my next bed, which has got one of my favorites, radishes ready for a salad. But I did spot, because I've got some more over here as well. We just love, we love uh, radishes in our salads and um, can't get enough of them. So, but I think that the ones over here are a bit more advanced. So I'm probably just gonna have a little check through these ones. Um, this particular container, contains a mixture of soil that I've extracted from the lab leftover samples with some multi-purpose compost, peat-free, organic of course, and then it's been topped with horse muck as well. And actually most of these have had a bit of rotted down horse manure in. You can see there's quite a problem with weeds, so we'll be weeding this weekend as well. Uh, in this patch, there are some uh, beans, and over in the corner here, I planted them far too close, but just for fun. You know when you get to that stage, you just want to stick a seed in the ground because you've been putting off so long. Over here we have artichokes, so um, I think they are starting to appear. So we'll see how they come along in the next few weeks as well. Now this next one's also one of our favorites. You can see behind me here, runner beans. Um, they're doing all right probably a little bit stunted at the moment. I'm sure it's probably weather related. Um, we'll keep watering them. Maybe I'll put some compost tea in them from the next trial, see if we can boost that soil a little bit and we'll see what happens to those over the next few weeks as well. Oh, this is cool. I hadn't noticed. First strawberry. We'll pick that. We'll go and give that to my son in a minute. He loves strawberries. Uh, over here, I'm now by those other radishes. Look at the size of this one. In fact, we will take him out because it looks so good. There we go. Oh, absolutely perfect. I'm going to have a little harvest now and uh, bring you back when I finish collecting them. Well, there we go. There's my mini haul of radishes. Absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, plenty left to come still. Although the slugs have got in there a little bit as well. So there we go. Just a short little vloggy type video mini tour of my veggie patch i'm afraid i didn't really have time this week it's been such a busy week i've been flying all over the country looking at tree soil one minute and farmers fields the next so uh didn't quite work out as i wanted so i didn't have the time i wanted but rest assured i will be back with some more educational insights or things to help you improve your soil grow better plants and crops so until the next video I'll see you soon.